earlier, we took a tour of QuickBooks and looked at some features of the homepage. Let's take some time now to customize the homepage. To start, I will customize the shortcuts we see here in the icon bar. I will right click a blank area of the icon bar where the shortcuts are located and select Customize Shortcuts. Let's say that I do not want an extra space here. I will select the space and then the delete button. To add a shortcut, I will select the add button. These items we can add are in alphabetical order. I will select backup data and then the OK button. Then I will take this tiny diamond to the left of backup and drag this up to in between services and credit cards. Then I will select the OK button. If we scroll down the shortcut list here, we see the changes that have been made. Next, let's customize the Insights area a little. I will select the Insights tab. Let's say I want to control which dashboards can be made visible. I will select the Customize icon, and then I will clear top customers by sales since most of the customers at Rustic Pines Golf Course are walk-in customers. This dashboard will no longer show as we navigate through the dashboards. One other customization we can do with this Insights tab is to add our company logo. I will select Upload Logo, and then from the Student folder, select the logo, select the Open button, and there is the logo. The last area we will look at as it relates to customizing the home page is the Preferences area. I will select the Edit menu, and then Preferences. Then I will select the Desktop view. We can view pages and lists in a single window, or in multiple windows. Multiple windows were popular in older versions of QuickBooks. You will need to decide which option is best for you, but I will go with the one window option for now. What this does is maximize every window you have open. The other change I will make is to the company file color scheme. Being that this is for a golf course, we have to go with green forest, don't we? You choose whichever color scheme you like. I will select the OK button to finish making these changes. One more point. We did select the one window option, but we can still go to the window menu and select any open window we want.